Quite some time ago I posted a video showing this machine. It is a CNC coil winder and I showed it winding a very simple linear coil and then I showed an adapter that I'd made um, which was for winding wave wound coils. And uh, I use this machine a, a great deal. I do a lot of restoration and repairs and uh, I need to wind a lot of coils. I probably wind upwards of five, six hundred coils per year. All different types, different formats, different styles. So this machine gets a lot of use. And um, these machines are still available. In fact, the uh, company that made this have now brought out a newer version with a third axis. Unfortunately, my budget uh, won't stretch to that. So I'm going to continue with this one. Um, but one of the things I find with machines like this is it's quite nice to uh, add on to them and the manufacturer has done the same thing they're doing an extremely good job in developing this and keeping the development going so it's not they haven't produced the machine and then it's stagnating they're constantly developing it um, but even if you buy one of these there's no reason to be left behind you can kind of make your own adapters make your own accessories and that's what uh, I tend to do and that's what I want to show in this uh, video. Uh, one of the things I often have to do is uh, wind coils like this. It might be hard to see what it is, but it's a dual wound coil. So it's two wires wound side by side. And um, it's wound just like a normal linear coil, uh, one layer on top of the other, except that both wires are wound at the same time. So they lay side by side. There's lots of advantages to doing that. Um, there's many reasons why you might want to do it um, but in this instance the particular project I'm working on I'm winding a transformer where one of the windings needs to have a higher current carrying capacity than a single uh, wire will uh, support so the natural question is well why not just use a thicker wire and the reason is that the space on the transformer is uh, very limited and there's um, not a lot of overhead so going to a thicker wire um, bearing in mind that the coil only needs to have a single layer if it's wound like this uh, means that the winding will only be about half the thickness uh, but it will have twice the current carrying capacity uh, so what you could do of course is wind the first uh, coil I'll go halfway across the former and then wind the second um, it's not quite as neat doing that um, and also you might find that the two lengths of wire are not exactly the same and so one of the windings might uh, carry more of the load than the other one. Uh, but this is a very good um, technique for uh, overcoming those problems. The problem of course is actually how to go about doing that on a machine like this. If we look at the standard dispense nozzle you'll see it's, it's a block that fits in the front of the machine you adjust it so that the tip of the nozzle is a little away from the former and then um, the wire runs through the center of the nozzle and is uh, controlled as the head moves across the former. Um, but this of course is no good for uh, doing dual windings. You also can't just put in two heads, you can't just drill a second hole and put a second head in of course because, or a second tip in um, because the minimum spacing would be uh, greater than the width of the wires and of course these two tips need to be spaced out uh, the separation of the diameter of the wire so that the two wires are laid properly side by side without gaps between them so you could of course drill the holes at an angle so that the tips uh, come close together but even then the spacing would still be greater than the diameter of the wire uh, and also you'd need a separate one for each uh, wire uh, diameter you want to wind. So what I've done is I've made an adapter that overcomes those problems and allows me to wind uh, dual windings with different diameter wires. Um, I've had to make my own nozzles. I could have used these um, this type which would have been better but uh, my budget won't stretch to uh, buying a pair of these at the moment. These are quite expensive and I didn't want to uh, buy two of these uh, just to try this out. Uh, I did it some time ago and it's been working well ever since. I just haven't gotten around to um, forking out the money for a pair of nozzles. So the adapter 
looks fairly similar on um, first sight to the one we just looked at. The only difference is it's got this uh, insert. I was get a, an Allen key and we'll pop that uh, insert out of the carrier. So all this really is is a, a brass barrel and two tubes and they're angled slightly together so the tips uh, basically converge and then the whole thing is um, soldered together. As I say, you could use a pair of these, which would be better. If I had two of these, I would have made this bigger and uh, put some Allen screws in so I could swap these tips out to use different uh, diameter wires. Um, but this is working fine at the moment. And the point of this is the wires, of course, if it was like this, would still come out with too much separation. But if you rotate this, which you can do by rotating it within the uh, support, so it goes into this hole, got this uh, Allen set screw on top and you can rotate the angle of these two nozzles so that if you imagine looking from the top if you have them completely sideways the separation is about 1.8 millimeters but if you rotate them completely vertical the separation is of course zero and everything in between is adjustable so you can adjust it from zero uh, separation up to 1.8 millimeters and then these are lined uh, with PTFE tube. So by adjusting the rotation of this, you can separate the two wires to exactly the diameter of the wire, so they lay down properly, and other than that, it behaves like a standard nozzle. Um, in terms of lacing up the machine, then all we do is put one of the wires at the top, going underneath, and the other one at the bottom, going over the top. So they cross over, go through one at the top of the felt tensioner, one at the bottom, and then into the PTFE tubes and uh, out onto the former. So I'll demonstrate this. I'll just get the machine set up to do a very simple test wind and uh, we'll see this uh, in action. I've got the machine set up to do a dual winding. So the two wires come in, one at the top going underneath the idler pulley then over the top of the tension pulley and through the first nozzle and the second one does the reverse, it comes in and then goes the opposite way around the two pulleys and then through the second nozzle. I've got the angle of the nozzle set so that the horizontal separation is equivalent or equal to the diameter of the wire. Um, the gap uh, from the nozzle to the former is uh, too big but um, halfway through doing a, uh, another job with this I don't want to change it. Uh, but even so you should still see that it will do a reasonable job of winding this coil. Uh, so what I'll do now before I start the machine up is just zoom you in so you can see this a bit more clearly and then uh, we'll see how well it winds the coil. Okay we're set up and ready to go. I'll start the machine turning. Okay, and as you can see, it makes a very nice job of winding the coil. And um, as long as you have the angle of the uh, two nozzles set to match the, the diameter of the wire, it makes extremely nice uh, jobs of winding these coils. Uh, uh, as I said, the nozzles really need to be closer to the former, but uh, even so, you can see uh, it's laying down the two wires extremely well. And of course, it's laying them down both at the same time, side by side. And uh, when it comes to reverse, it works fine because, uh, of course, the one that is furthest to the left is already furthest to the left, so it tends to reverse half a turn before the second one, and then it just goes back the other way and lays them down quite nicely going back the other way. So uh, this um, is well worth uh, making. It's uh, very useful if you need to do this sort of thing. It would be nice to make uh, another one of these using the proper nozzles, and as soon as... Um, my budget will stretch to buying a couple. I'll make another one of these 
and uh, show you how it looks with a couple of the proper nozzles but even with these uh, with PTFE lining in here um, the PTFE lining lasts quite a long time it uh, doesn't last as long as the proper nozzles but um, I'm getting probably 40 or 50 coils out of each lining and then you can just pull it out and push a new one in and um, so far I've done probably 300 400 coils with this adapter and it's worked extremely well every time it works fine with anything up to about 0.6 or 0.7 millimeter wire uh, beyond that you would need to make these stiffer because they do flex slightly with very thick wire uh, but something like this 0.4 0.5 millimeter and it works extremely nicely.